Hey guys and welcome to the Owls reading vlog. So it's like 10.45 on the first day and I am already trying to get started. I picked up Ghosted just because this is for um, whatever prompt is a book outside of the genre you typically like, arithmancy. So I figured I would get it out of the way because it's probably the book I'm gonna enjoy the least. So um, I'm like 20 pages in, 25 pages in. And I stopped because I'm editing the March reading wrap up. So it can go up today, hopefully. Um, it's like 10.45, hopefully it can go up by like one o'clock. So I'm gonna go make some food and finish editing this and then I'll get back to reading. I've kind of mapped out the first books that I wanna get read. And then also, um, I don't remember whose video I was watching. I think it was Melt of the Enemy and she was talking about how she's gonna try and complete all the prompts because then it gives her open options for newts in August. And then I think with all of my April TBR and my um, my Owls readathon. I had 10 or 11 books, so I mixed around a few of the prompts and switched out some books. I think I switched out one book, and now if I finish all the books that were on my April reading list, I will have completed all the prompts, which then I guess opens up all the seminars and everything, so i could go for anything I want in newts. I think that's all I had to address. Um, it's really nice outside, so I don't know if I want to spend the whole day reading inside, but we will see where this goes. So I'm gonna go make something to eat and then um, finish editing this and get back to reading. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. So it is much later, like it's almost 10 o'clock later. Um, I have not made much progress on Ghosted. I think I'm on page 65 and I could not read it anymore. So I started reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely, but I also um, edited the thumbnail for my March wrap up. It's set to premiere or... Um, set to upload tomorrow at noon so it will already be up by the time this video is so I'm on page 30 and um, this is just a dark retelling of Beauty and the Beast I believe and so far I'm really liking it our main character has cerebral palsy and she is not letting it get in her way so um I'm liking it so far, and I think I'm just going to read a little bit of this while I eat my dinner. So I will let you guys know how much farther I get, and I mean, Stephanie Garber, number one New York Times bestselling author of Caraval and Legendary, said it was an intensely original retelling of Beauty and the Beast, so I am expecting nothing less than that, so... Yes, I need to stop jabbering and eat. Because yes, I will check back in with you guys later. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's the next day, and I have made some progress on A Curse of Dark and Lonely. I am up to page 1, 
38, chapter 17. And I'm liking it, but I just went on a like three mile walk with my mom. So we just got back from that and I'm very tired. Anyway, so I'm gonna have a little snack and read a little bit more and I'll check back in with you guys later. Okay guys, so it is the next day and I got some book mail from Book Depository and then I also made quite a bit more progress on A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I am on page 257, so we're just over halfway. This is all that I've read and this is the bit I've got left. So I'm anticipating finishing that today, but I figured I could open this and see what it is. I also ordered, um, during this like quarantine time, um, some comic, some comics for my little brother. So this is me struggling to open a package for too long. So taking some scissors. So there's a little bookmark and then my invoice. So this is Fence Volume 1, which I'm so excited about. Anyways, so this is for owls. And I always like to flip through. I really like the art style for this. So as we can see, I really like it. So it is much later and this happened. <laughs> so it is four o'clock on the 24 hour readathon within the readathon. So I am still reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I'm on page 293 chapter 33 and I'm definitely struggling all I've been wanting to do is play Animal Crossing but I think it looks cute there's me in my house I have a little tire I had a fire there but I was gonna make a bonfire instead anyways it didn't work out so I am like that's what I've been doing recently trying to collect enough iron nuggets and all I have to say is if you are playing Animal Crossing right now like from the 1st of April till I think the 12th or something they're doing this like egg hunt collection stuff and it is so freaking annoying like it was kind of cute at first but now it's so freaking annoying and like when you go fishing you think there's something that you can go and like sell but it's just an egg and you can eat them and stuff but I don't know it's not anything that's hmm, really doing anything for me so I um I played yesterday for like four and a half hours I think I did not do any reading um so I woke up this morning and I really was not feeling good I woke up super early like for me um and I just wasn't really feeling good so I was asleep when the readathon started I went to bed at like seven or eight in the morning and then woke up at like um 11 I want to say I'm still hoping to finish this book at least today my current thoughts on a curse so dark and lonely i'm like 300 pages in um i don't know if i'm love loving it i was at the beginning liking it better than a quarter of thorns and roses but now that i've gotten into it further i feel like i'm just not like in the mood for this book I don't know if that's because I just read A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I read like the first 20 pages of An Ember in the Ashes yesterday and was so like into it. So I don't know if it's just 
this book that I'm not like in for or if it's like everything and this is how <laughs> the readathon is gonna go so yeah I just felt like I would come in here look at the light <laughs> it's like I have stripes on me but anyways I thought I would just come on and talk to you guys for a little bit I kind of like these chit chatty clips a little bit more because I feel like I'm just able to talk to you guys this is going to be it for the 24 hour readathon check-in um because i am exhausted and i did not get a good night's sleep last night so i'm just gonna sleep until my body wakes me up and i do not think i will be up before 9 a.m because the readathon is going from uh 2 p.m to 2 p.m in scotland but on the east coast that's 9 a.m to 9 a.m so yes uh so i thought i would do a check-in on what i have read just in like the past hour i tried to read a little bit of the three books that i'm currently on like i mentioned earlier so first of all a curse of dark and lonely i made a lot of progress with this which is what i wanted to do i am on chapter 42 page 374 and there goes my post-it so i have exactly 100 pages left which i probably will wake up and finish tomorrow morning before I start Animal Crossing because that is pretty much what has taken up my day today. Then An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I think I'm on page like 20, 24, chapter 4. I am loving this so far and I know I'm only like 25 pages in but um and then Ghosted which was what I started reading at the beginning of this week. I'm on page 74 so this is probably it's not bad I'm just not interested because it's not something that I typically go for which is part of this challenge is to get me to read something that I'm not super crazy about um so I am going to go to bed I'm not gonna read anymore because my eyes are just absolutely shattered and okay so i got more book mail of the other heart stopper so this was the last book I needed for my career for Owls. My mom was out here. She just went back inside. And then this, Lardine keeps breaking up with me. And this is also one of the books I was planning on reading for if I do complete all 12 prompts. Um, I don't know if that will happen, but um, if it does, this is going to be for astronomy, so the book that I read primarily or entirely at night. So it's another graphic novel, and here's our little flip through. I feel like, here we go. So it's like all black, white, gray, and pink, so that's really cute. Hey! Oh! And he jumped up on me. So yes, I'm out here reading right now. Um, I am on page 428. So I've got about 50 pages left and I should finish it while I'm out here reading. So, so let's get reading. <laughs> It's four o'clock and I finished A Curse So Dark and Lonely a little bit ago. I'm not going to rate it just yet. I'm kind of going to let it sit. Um, I definitely enjoyed it and I know that there's a second book. Uh, 
heart so fierce and broken. I do not know if that's right. Um, but I will definitely be looking to pick that up soon because I really liked the way that the story ended. Um, and I decided to pick up Heartstopper because after spending like three days reading Curse of Dark and Lonely, I just kind of want to read something a little bit lighter and fun and kind of quick to read. So I've been reading for probably like 15 minutes and I'm already on page 70. So I'm going to go keep reading this. I really like it so far. It's super cutesy. Um, Charlie, I believe is his name. No, Nick. The one who plays like rugby and got Charlie into it. Um, reminds me a lot of um why well, can't I think of his name? Grizz from the Society. It's like so cute and I really enjoy it. So it's very light and fun i this i believe is my first graphic novel that i've read i've read manga but i don't think i've read an actual graphic novel so i don't know how i'm gonna rate this um and i don't know i think i'll just go like off of feeling not breaking it down how i do books which we will see if you guys have any tips though on how to rate graphic novels please let me know down below all right, we've got an hour to go. Let's see if I can finish this. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it is just about 4.30 and I finished Heartstopper and I loved it, first of all. Okay, I'm kind of kind of going to talk through this and address it. So I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you don't want to be spoiled. I don't think there really will be spoilers. I'm going to try not to keep them, but just in case, um, I'll leave the timestamp here somewhere. So... Um, this, like I said, was my first graphic novel that I've ever read, which, like, besides, um, like, I guess online, co like, web comics, because the only other one I have, like, seen then and kept up with is, uh, Lore Olympus, which I love. If you have any book recommendations that are kind of like Lore Olympus, let me know, because I really enjoy it. Anyways, so, I really liked this i definitely want heartstopper volume two and i think there's a third one um but there is a trigger warning for sexual assault and like homophobic remarks i just wanted to address that because they definitely angered me um and i thought it was really easy to follow how alice osman like introduced all the characters i wasn't confused at all and um yeah besides those two things which i think they were handled really well um and addressed that like saying those things are not okay and doing those things are not okay so i feel like the topics that were addressed were corrected so or like reprimanded whatever you however you want to say it they were just addressed which i really enjoyed and it was just the cutest, like, book. It made me laugh. There was, I don't quite remember what it was. I'm gonna try and, like, figure it out. Oh, um, it was uh, Charlie's friend Tao, and he was, like, wearing a hat outside, and the PE teacher was like yelling at him being like Tao take the hat off and he's like but sir it's freezing and he's like we live in England not Antarctica get over it and I I like giggled it was funny so this book made me laugh it made my heart like warm it made me sad and upset at some points all within like 40 minutes and 263 pages also when you get to the end of like the graphic novel there's like at the back the very back of the book it's like a character um breakdown kind of for all the main characters and i love how it, she put like um addressing like the basic information school year age birthday gender sexuality but then she also included their personality type and their Hogwarts house. And I loved that. Like, flipping through at the end, that was really just like, oh my gosh. I love this. So, definitely, if we're going off of feelings, five out of five stars. I, I loved it. I don't have any complaints. I think that the art style is so freaking cute. 
And now we've got two books down. I'm pretty much done, I think, with this vlog. Um, I will show you guys my kind of wrap up progress of what we accomplished, where I'm at. Um, so I finished Curse of Dark and Lonely and Heart Suffered Volume 1. Right now I'm reading Prisoner of Azkaban because I am watching the movie right now and I think I'm up to like page 200 in the movie so I'm trying to catch up. I'm on page 33 right now and I'm gonna keep reading this tonight but in the next vlog you guys will see where I am. And then Ghosted and an Ember in the Ashes. Ghosted I'm up to page 75 and an Ember in the Ashes I'm up to page 24. And we're just gonna read a little bit more Harry Potter tonight. So, so yeah, I think that's it. And hope you guys are having a good day. And I will see you in my next vlog.